Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. She's an R&B staple and reality star, best known for her love song, Something In My Heart. And he's a celebrity chef, motivational speaker, and writer. Together, they make the perfect match. Or do they? Each week, their relationship is front and center and put to the test on Week TV's hit series, Marriage Boot Camp, the hip hop edition. Let's take a look. You're a chef, for Christ's sakes. All right, drop the beat. Michelle, when I first met you, all I did was sweat you. I was willing to do anything to get you. Oh! Oh, God. Chef! I say not enough attention, but maybe I failed to mention hey. that I love you, hey. although it's hard. Hey. I didn't mean to make you feel like a pop star. Hey. Hey. Listen, NBC, we deserve MVP or honorable mention. And now that I got the bag, I can afford to pay attention. Oh! <laughs> I love that already. <laughs> so entertaining. All right, yeah. here to whip up some Moroccan lamb chops, lamb lollipops, and to chat about their love life and their true love story is Michelle A. and Chef Stu. Yeah. What about it? What about it? So I absolutely love that. I can kind of see why you did reality TV. I mean, I'm on the other side viewing it, and it's quite entertaining. But why did you, ch why did you, ch you choose to do that, Michelle? Well, I went to do it because I thought that it would help speed along whatever it was I needed to know. Yes. And they had a lie detector test, so I thought you could ask a lot of questions, but you really only get to ask one. So I was really mad because I'm thinking, well, you know. <laughs> oh, you're trying to find yeah, out everything. Yeah, I was like, let's just put it out the way. And right. it's like that. Right. Well, how was that experience for you, Chef Stu? It was a new experience for me, but it was a wonderful experience because it got a chance to allow for me to learn a little bit more about myself yes. and also learn how to deal with Michelle A and yes. how to put our relationship in perspective. Yes, I like that. Well, let's go ahead and put this cooking segment in perspective and you let us know it. what you're making today. All right, so this is a lamb lollipop and I have a signature Moroccan spice blend. And it smells so amazing already. And so if you just basically lightly coat these lamb mm -hmm. lollipops with this, mm -hmm. as you can smell it. They can't smell it at home, but I know you can. I can, and I love it. And you just get that nice sear on them. Ooh. See, this is, this is how she eat on a regular basis, y'all. I was just about to say, like, <laughs> Michelle, like, now, you know, you, you did your thing this time with this man. You got a man who can cook. Listen. Was that, was that like a, a criteria or something for uh, you? No, but I, I think it's a good asset. Because, <laughs> yeah, you know, I haven't cooked in, whew, <laughs> She don't even have boiled water no more. But I wash no, dishes do. very well. Very well. <laughs> very well. The so, dishes are clean now. So this is what we're talking about when we're talking about working together Wednesday. And here's a couple that works together. He cooks and she does the washing of the dishes. Yeah. What did you both learn about each other uh, that you didn't know going into marriage boot camp? I'll start with you first, Chef. I love languages. Okay. So you've read, you've read the book, The Five Love Language? Not at all. No, okay. So, so truly, I, learned, that, I went on a show so to So truly, Marriage Blue Camp taught you that. really taught me that. What is Michelle, Michelle A's um, love language? Affection. All right. Um, and just honesty. And... You got a few of them. Wait a minute, keep going. Yes, with the I'm, there, I'm steady learning them, but I know that the affection thing is, is something very that important. is very important. Absolutely. And um, that was one of the things that I learned while there. All right, should we turn these? You can. All right. I flipped both of them. All right. Oh, I see. I was looking for your tongues. I wasn't yeah. going to touch them. Come so on. how about you, Michelle? So what is it that you learned about Chef Stu that you did not know going into a marriage boot camp? That I was talking to him and he was listening, uh -huh. but he didn't hear me. Yes. Did you have wax? In, did you have wax in your ear? No. Why did you not hear her? That was something else that I learned as well. So, oh, you just learned that right no, now. No, yeah, that was that's a new one. We're still we're still in this. We're still doing that. So but every it's day very we're still true learning. Yes. Because it it put us in two different parts in the race. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. was way ahead of him at some points, and he was way ahead of me at some points. Wow. And we weren't right here. We weren't running in the same race. Wow. And that's important and you in any relationship. Definitely want to run together. Yes, in the beginning, sure. you want to know that so you can end up at the same place. Yes. Don't absolutely. you think? I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm with you. So let's go ahead and get the demo started. We, we okay. have seared the lamb chops thus far. They're What's next go. for us? All right, so I have this cilantro chutney that actually accompanies the, the Moroccan oh, spices. So, so good. this is a warm, nice spice, but then the cilantro chutney comes down to cool it. Yes. And as you can notice, I also made some cauliflower couscous. Mm -hmm. And I went, took a vegetable peeler, mm -hmm. and then I just shaved down the cauliflower nice and thin. Mm -hmm. So that it becomes the same size as the couscous. Yes. And then that way you can fold it into that. Oh, I and love that. And then it that. gives a nice little thing and then I'll just add a little, 
You want to add some sauce to this? No, you go no, right ahead. Wait a minute. I love my lesson. <laughs> she says it's Man, not the, the dishes are not dirty yet, so don't call her in the kitchen. Thank you. And then you just come. So I, love, I definitely want to try this, and it smells absolutely amazing. So, Chef, when did you start cooking? I've been cooking ever since I was about 12 years old. I actually grew up in a single parent household. My mother used to work nights. I had a younger brother, and so I was left in charge. Oh, wow. And uh, I would have to cook for us. And uh, on the weekends, I would go to my grandmother's house, and she would teach me everything. And then I'd go home, and throughout the week, and I would just practice. Oh, wow. It was kind of like the uh, Kicks commercial, give it to Mikey, he'll like it. That I was love my little it. Brother. Well, can you give it to Quad and maybe see? <laughs> and, you know, I, oh, like, the, can, um, I would like to try okay, some. So. Is it okay? Yes, yeah, certainly. Mm -hmm. You want to serve her? Oh, no, no you go she... back. <laughs> Is it anything to clean up? Right, so, so we just come right So how did you all meet Michelle A? Um, actually, a friend, a good friend of ours, Lunell. She's a comedian. Lunell, Lunell. That's just, she's a good friend of ours. Yeah, he was a personal chef of hers at this Christmas party one year, and we went and that's where I met him, or saw him. I didn't even care to know him, and this is where we at. Wow. Yeah. Now, now he, you've given me a fork. Yes. And I'm going to eat that with the, the rice and the couscous, but for his lamb chop. <laughs> yes, it's going down. Yeah. <laughs> it's a party in your mouth right now, I know. Mmm. Mmm. Girl, you are lucky. You are a lucky woman. Mmm. Thank you so much. Thank the both of you for coming on to the show. We truly do appreciate it. Listen, you can catch me show live. And also Chef Stew on Marriage Bootcamp Thursdays at 10 o'clock p.m. Um, on WeTV.